Here are four AI agent frameworks that we use within N10 to build agents that are way faster, way more scalable, and way smarter. The first one is prompt chaining. So this is when we use a chain of different prompts where an AI agent does one task, then a second agent does a second one, and a third one as well, which is great for separating the different agents and making them do their own specific tasks. And in this case, this agent right here is relying on the output of this one and this one on the output of this one. Now, the benefit of this is that it's much easier to debug because it is in linear flow. This follows a very, very logical flow. And when there's an error here, you can always come back to this and you can fix it here. The second framework is called the routing framework. So let's say we have an email that we get. We then use an AI to classify the email based on whether it's a high priority, customer support, promotions, finance and billing, and so on. And based on the output, based on the classification of that email, then we send it to the appropriate agent to execute on its own task. Now, this is great when we have some sort of input that we want to classify before routing it to the right agent to do its own thing. The third framework is called the parallelization framework. A very fancy word to basically say that we have multiple agents working simultaneously on different tasks. So let's say we have an AI agent that we can talk to that basically writes a LinkedIn hook and then the LinkedIn body. What we do then is that we make the AI agents this one works first, then we wait until this finishes, then we go to the second one, and then we merge them, which means that we put all the two outputs in the same sort of array. And then we add it to the final agent, which can write the LinkedIn post using the LinkedIn hook and the LinkedIn body. Now this right here, we usually use for research or multi-domain inputs where we have different inputs right here, which we can then send to the different steps of the AI agent to execute their own tasks before bringing it all back into one place to then go to the next steps. And the last one is Optimizer, which allows us to have a feedback loop when we create our automations. So let's say we have a sales agent, which writes the email. Then we have a human in the loop feature, which allows our team to give feedback. If the feedback is positive, then it sends it to the customer. If not, then we use another agent to rewrite the email. And there's a whole repetitive loop over and over again. Now I've made a full video showing you step-by-step -step how each one actually works when to use it, and how you can set it up within your automations. If you want access to it, make sure to check out the first link down below.